Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Mab of Kah Kodash, Hayah Halal, alright? Um, which is ancient Pili Hebrew for Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's only name. Who the word ignorantly calls Jah Jehovah in the name of Yahweh Shai, his son's Hebrew, only Hebrew name. Who the word ignorantly calls Yeshua Jesus, etc. The mob, which is through the Kakwadash, the Holy Spirit. Alright. Haya is B. And um, Halal is praise. Alright. And um, we deserve the praise and the glory for you know delivering us from, from our wicked ways and and these these spirits that he sent to us to test us and so forth. And that's what this lesson is based on. The folly of these people right here. Yeah, the folly that went on in that video, that was a video from RT News of, um, looks like Edomites, but you know, there could be some Jakes among them, jumping through the fire to, to, you know, clean themselves of these Lefan, Lefan angels, these unclean spirits, these angels, to be gone, all right? And, um, that's totally not scripture. That's totally not scripture. We are healed by the word of Yahweh and Yahshua, and that's what this lesson is based on. We have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. I'll title it, alright, true spirit. This is first. This is seen in John chapter one, and verse one. And it reads, "In the beginning was the word, and the word was with the Most High, slake with Allah which means powers, and the word was powers. The same was in the beginning with powers." That's talking about Yahweh Shai, alright? Yahweh Shai is referred to as the Word, alright? Let's get my next precept. Revelation chapter 12, verse 9. It says, And the great dragon was cast out, talking about Esau, that old serpent, alright? It's just an allegory to describe. Um, in the level, the level of deception and subtlety that he saw has deceived the world. Because it's going to see that right here, right? The great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil. The word devil is a um, Latin word diablo, which means deceiver, and and Satan, which is the Hebrew word shatan, which means adversary, all right? Which deceived the whole world, he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him all right let's talk about all the elites and so forth and whoever um support this man's system it says because the word angels from the hebrew word malaka which means messenger or ambassador so that those are the ambassadors or messengers of Isa who push out his, his wicked agenda verse 10 and i heard a loud voice saying in heaven now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of Amashiach, all right? For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused, be, which accused them before our power day and night, all right? And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto death. So you see how we, how did we overcome these, these angels and demons, all right? by the word by the lamb first the lamb then the word was the lamb a sacrifice a sacrifice that was made so that we could have this grace period to clean ourselves up well, how about you? to make a decision to receive salvation all right so let's go to uh, an account in Matthew an 
Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 1. It says, It's lucky I hit four. It's lucky. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, how was I being tempted by the not only the top, the top left hand angel, the ultimate deceiver, um, Shatan, right, who did not disobey the most high footnote, that was another lesson. Then was Yahweh led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungered. Right? Yeah, he was being tempted because... It's like, yeah. His flesh was weakened, you know, so you become more... Um, au fait, so to speak. You become more... Um, receptive or your discernment raised when it comes to spirituality that's why somebody sees angels or you know, chariots when they pass and discern certain things people say and so forth it says when the temp when uh, and when the temp temper came tempter came to him he said if thou be the son of the most i command these stones to be made bread and he answered and said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High. All right. See, he he rebuked, he corrected the hand spirit. That was right in his thoughts are manifest themselves before, because they, they manifest themselves, all right. But not on this plane that we would sense them. All right. They whisper things in your ears, put things in your spirit while you're sleeping, stuff like that. All right. Because that's why how Bashmi you he seal our instruction according to Job. All right, and um, and you know, he said it is written. Where is that written? That's written in Deuteronomy. It says, By the word you rebuke these angels. All right, it says, verse 5 Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and setteth him in the pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, Slakia, come in over now, and saith unto him. If thou be the son of the Most High, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And you see, these angels know the scriptures. If, if, if Shatan was so against the Most High, why would he use the Most High word? Exactly. He used the word. To carry out his, his assignment because it's Yahweh who sends him an assignment. You can read that in Job. Alright? He quoted the scripture. And this is what Yahweh Shai said. Yahweh Shai said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt Yahweh thy power. I believe that's in Deuteronomy as well. Alright? Verse 8. And again, the devil take him up into. Again, the devil taketh him up into the into the ex, into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall and worship me. Then Yahweh shall say unto him, Get thee hence, Shatan, for it is written. Thou shalt worship Yahweh thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. And the devil leave him, and behold, the angels came and ministered unto him. You see that? So the angels came and ministered unto him after he rebuke the left hand side angel with the word. Now with, now with no action of jumping over the damn fire. Alright? We gotta rebuke these, these devils that come in our mind, alright? Yes, yeah, so let's go to Luke. Chapter 10 and verse 17. Now this is with the disciples, right? If I'm not, yeah, with the disciples. This is uh Luke chapter 10, verse 17. And this and the 70 return again with joy, 70 men, saying, Other one, which is Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, he said, You see what it says? Even the devils are subject us through thy name, because Yahweh Yahweh Shai is the word that's why i brought up um john 101 and he said unto them i beheld satan fell as i beheld satan as lightning fall from heaven all right 
Behold, I give, behold, I give unto you power to tread on ser serpents and scorpions, and over and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding, they in this rejoice not that the spirit. I said it. Slack it. The spirits are subject unto you, but rather, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. All right. Yeah. So. Let's see. So let me uh, let me get a quick precept. Slack here. Let me add to it real quick. Spirit just saying. So it says. Mm. Alright, that's on a piece of the wall. Slack it. Yeah, so these angels use the name of Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai is the word and they believed. They believed, alright? So that's why the angels left. Let's go back to Matthew chapter 3, verse 1. It says, Train one. Mm, it's like yo. Oh, that one eleven. It says, "I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear, and he shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire." Now that that baptism is talking about the word. All right, let me show you in uh, Jeremiah. 23 and 29. Don't worry, the most I can bring you actually fire for real. You know? The most I can bring you actually fire, nuclear fire. I see the fat. <laughs> the fat, don't worry about your clothes. There is no bunch of big fat that he's showing. Instead of, instead of watching your foot on fire, you can barely make it over, right? This is Jeremiah 23 and 29. Is not my word like as fire, saith Yahweh? like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces exactly so the most high word is like fire that's the fire we really gotta go through we gotta go through the word right we gotta read the word and apply it to the spirit and call you how about you right yeah let's go to uh romans precept the precept image just title this um name of this lesson is romans chapter 10 verse 2 for I bear them record that they have a zeal of the most side, but none according to knowledge. Yeah, because they're wise and evil. They all the time they spend for light all the fucking fire and gather and so forth. They could have gone through scriptures or watched some of the videos, you know, and, and this is what's gonna happen in the future. People are gonna do crazy fucking shit. Excuse my French. Crazy stuff. And claim that it's godliness, alright? Claim that they right with the most side. But when the most high reveal himself. It can be like they they will be those Lord Lord niggas. Uh, was it Lord? Did I not cast out these devils in your name? Did I do X Y and Z? And Yahweh Shai said, "Move from here, you worker, you worker of iniquity." It's like you're roughly paraphrasing. All right, verse three. It's like let me read back to. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. Knowledge is what. Wisdom and understand these holy scriptures to fear Yahweh, not to, to jump over no damn fire. Verse 3 For they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. Exactly. They submit themselves unto the, this word, submit themselves unto folly. Alright, this is my last precept, true spirit. I'm going to pray this lesson is. Um, being conveyed in an orderly and edifying manner. All right, this is Second Timothy chapter three, verse one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Uh huh. We in the, we in those times are. Yeah, we in those times, and it's gonna get worse. It said, "For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers." I'm bringing this up edification, right? That these type of things is gonna happen, right? Um, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontent, fierce despisers of those that are good, 
traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of the most side. They having fun with it. They having fun with it. They think they, they think it's some fucking game. Excuse me, French a game, but you know. And you get aggravated in your spirit when you see these people um, thinking of all sorts of ways to 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 they want to serve the most side their way and not the way he said. You know. There's like somebody telling you how to be you. Only you could be you. You know? And Mosai made us a particular way. Mosai made us to serve us. That's the whole duty of a man. Right? Ecclesiastes 12 and 13, if I'm not mistaken. Alright? Um, it says, Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. So we got to turn away from these people because they're idle. They're idle. You know, they're wicked. They are dread. They are terribly wicked. All right. It says verse six. For this, for, it says for this sort are they which creep into houses, let let captive see, let captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts. That's some of different different uh, doctrines. You know. You know they got itching ears and want to go search out things that don't make no sense. All right. Ever learning and never able to come to the and never able to come to the truth. It's like you and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. So they, they learn the world of crap, but they didn't learn any truth or applying the scriptures. Alright? And um I guess yeah, that's it on that. And um I wanna say, you know, all praise to how bashin you shai bashin kakadaj, the apostles and all the great in stone. And uh, shall I mark him till another time?